Nigerians. My name is Christabel and this is CM Global Interactions April Wednesday. Today's topic is the upcoming Nigerian election. If you look at the upcoming Nigerian elections, a ticket for a presidential candidate is a hundred million, a whooping hundred million. Now, um, Tinubu said he won't rest until he becomes the president of Nigeria. Now, PDP and APC all have their own candidates that are contesting for the presidential election. Other parties too, and new parties that are still coming up, also have their own candidates that want to participate for this presidential election. Now, each candidate will pay a hundred million for just one ticket, for the, for the presidential ticket. Now, my question is, the hundred million they, they, they paid, what happens to those that don't even bypass the, the primary elections? We all know, I mean, we all know that at the end, some, some of them won't even bypass the primary election. How much more of the secondary election? So, the ticket that they've already bought, what will not be their own gain after losing the presidential election? Or is there something else that we Nigerians are yet to know or understand of those people who bought uh, the presidential ticket and at the end, they don't get anything at the end of it? Is there something else attached to this pres presidency? Another one is, most of these persons will barely know them. They can afford 100 million for a presidential ticket now. But before then, what have they been doing to help the community and the society? Now they are coming out to become the president of Nigeria. And they want to really take care of its citizens, the world at large. And make sure that the Nigerian citizens, the economy, and the rest of them are, are doing well. What have they been doing? with their community people, with maybe say the youth, what have they impacted in the youth? What have they impacted in their surroundings and their community? Now they are coming out to become the president of Nigeria. So what happens to, um, um, what is it called, Osimba and Joe? Yes, the president is stepping out. The president is handed over in a few months time, 2023, I guess. But, his vice president is actually contesting too. He also has the interest to become the president of Nigeria. And now, Tunumbu is saying he won't rest until he becomes the president of Nigeria. What is your take concerning this? Do you think that Osimba Jo should be the president of Nigeria? Or do you think that we should give Tunumbu, uh, who has been there once but told, then become the president of Nigeria as of then, and now he wants to become the president of Nigeria? What do you think, or do you think that his age could even carry uh, the laws that Nigeria is in now? Or do you think that we, the Nigerians, are, we need another candidate aside APC, PDP, or uh, even if it's from there, we actually need a younger candidate that can um, take this uh, country to a better place? What do you think? What now happens to other parties that are still coming up? What now happens to them that, that they, they are good people, they are good people in other parties, but some of these parties that have been dominating other parties, they know, but at the end, they use this, their dominary, um, uh, let me say, dominary uh, uh, population, popularity to win the election, which we all know that in Nigeria, it is just popularity we need to win a presidential election. What do you have to say concerning this? What uh, is your own point of view? Please drop your comments at the comment section and let the Nigerian see what we already know or what we don't know or what we need to know. Remember that this coming election, we must not repeat the same mistake. You have to cast your vote wisely. You have to cast your vote in the right place and in the right source. So please, let's move this country ahead and make we make this country better for everybody. This is where I'm going to cut today's show because this is all I have for us on CM Global Interactions every Wednesday. I still remember your host, Christabel Martin, but I will see you again when I will come again with another exciting topic to discuss on. Meanwhile, the Children's Day is coming. What do you have for your children or the, or the less privileged? Let's see before then. If you have anything to reach them and less privileged, please you can reach me and I will take it to them 
mentioning your name that this is what you have offered for the, pre for the less privileged in our society. Thank you so much as I await you and your gift. Bye-bye for now.